we begin, I must uh, share with all the members of the bar that we are very honored to we are very honored to have in our midst Justice Antonio Herman Benjamin, a very distinguished scholar and international judge from Brazil. Uh, he's due to be sworn in as the Chief Justice uh, on the 22nd of August this year. So we're very privileged to have uh, Justice Antonio with us. He's a great friend of India, one of the foremost international experts on the law relating to the environment. Uh, so he's uh, he's just come back from a trip to Srinagar, Sonmarg, uh, Kargil, Leh, and back. So he drove all the way. He's very fond of India, and we're just sharing with the colleagues what uh, his, his experiences about that trip. So we welcome you in our midst. On behalf of the bar, also, Lord, I welcome the honourable guest to this. Thank you. So we'll start with our uh, daily board. Lord, may I just mention? Lord, I have circulated a mail. The reason is, Lord, the no, reason is, Lord, I mentioned it before vacation. What if said it will be listed? It was not listed because it's a board be matter it will, regarding be a PGA admission matter, Lord. Lord, I'll yes. list it. Yes. My Lord, may I mention? Uh, just circulate an email, and I'll I'll attend to it in the afternoon today. Thank you. Just circulate circulate an email, and I'll get your matter listed as quickly as possible. All right, let's see the first day. My Lord, may I mention item 40? My Lord, by the time the matter reaches on board, my Lord, NTA can be directed to produce the original OMR of the... Of the sort, wait for the matter to reach, yes. Item 1. May I please, my Lord. And item 1, Malad, the, uh, this is a bail plea, Malad. The petitioner is in custody since 10th of February 2022. In possession, you were positive. You were alleged to be in possession of 80 kilograms. I was copy. not found in the location. Malik. You are not. You are. They say that your uh, right. identity cards were found in the vehicle. Yeah, you're not the, the identity card. Malik. You're not the registered owner of the. I am not the registered. I have placed it on record. Malik. The registered owner says in his cross examination, he has been cross examined. The allegation is that the vehicle has been transferred in your favor. He says, but in the cross examination, he says he cannot confirm if the vehicle that has been alleged to uh, be uh, found by the police. Is the same vehicle which he sold to me, even otherwise, my lords. All that we will issue notice here and keep it up for two weeks. Mm. Serve the standing council to the state of Madhya Pradesh. I'm most issue grateful. Issue, ma issue notice returnable on uh, liberty to serve the standing council for the state of Madhya Pradesh. You have been denied, Antonio. I'm most grateful, Madam. Item two. Very short question is what is the delay? There is a delay of two thirty-five days. There is a delay, my lord, because why should we end on the delay? My lord, there was and you know, look at it this way: when they first filed their claim before the tribunal in Madhya Pradesh, you objected to the jurisdiction of the tribunal, relying upon upon the judgment in VA Tech. True, the judgment in VA Tech has been overruled subsequently. But at that stage, at your behest, he was sent to the arbitrator. You didn't object to his by the High before Court, the arbitrator. By the Honorable High right. Court. But then you never objected before the arbitrator. Now there's an award. It's a matter of record that we objected only at the stage of 37, my lord. I cannot so, quarrel with that. We'll dismiss it. What we'll do is we'll dismiss it on the ground of limitation so that it doesn't take a, become a precedent in any other case. And we'll keep the question law. of law open. There's a delay of 235 days in filing the special petition against the judgment of the Madhya Pradesh High Court dated 9 December 2022. Full stop. There is no satisfactory explanation for the delay. Uh, full stop. Hence, the uh, petition is dismissed on the ground of delay. Uh, however, we clarify that uh, since uh, the bar of limitation has intervened, it has not become necessary for this court to express any opinion on the question of law raised. It, it will remain open, man. It is kept open. We shouldn't say it's open because actually the question of law is decided in your favor my by Lord. our judgment of Lions. 2018. Lions. Because the judgment in VA Tech <laughs> has been overruled by our court. That that is so we, not, we but keep it, says... if we keep it open, we are tacitly then casting doubt on our judgment. The question of law is in your favor. Just that we are not interfering in this case only. At this stage, Lord, if I may only we say it's kept, kept the question of law is kept open. Fair enough. You want to we'll give it to you. I'm very grateful, man. Please, please, Maloj. Maloj, uh, this petition has become infructuous because subsequent developments have taken. Council appearing on behalf of Maloj. the petitioner states that the petition has been rendered infructuous Maloj. by subsequent developments. I'm sorry, uh, I, I want the question of the law to remain open, ma'am. Uh, 
simply being my lords because this, this is for the second petition my lords uh, pursuant to a set settlement agreement and lordship court has always open to us nothing is concluded by us it's we are just saying that it's unfructuous item 4 my lords uh, it will ultimately the matter will ultimately be uh, the lordship court only so i'm just so it's always open to us we are saying it's disposed of as infructuous it can never bind the now future bench i'm very grateful my lords Admittedly, the NCLT finds that my claim and my allotment to the flat is reflected in the information memorandum, which is the basis of any resolution plan. And it is showing in the record. What about delay? Yes, my lords. On delay, my lords, admittedly, I am not present when this pronouncement is made. My lords, the matter is reserved three months back. It comes in a pronouncement, my lords. My appearance is not there. I have vehemently said that I was not present. It is uploaded, my lords, and what what is the date on which it is uploaded? My lords, it is uploaded on twenty second of August twenty three, from which my lords, I am within limitation, excluding the certified. You are not paper. present. Were you a party? Yes, it was my application, my lords, on my application while reserving. But then, if it's your application, yes, my lords. Then can you say that I was not present? I don't know because. So my lords, the arguments happened. The order stands reserved. But it is. Uh, not when, is the, when is the order pronounced? Actually, it's not pronounced at all. Not on the dates argued, my lords. Not on the dates heard. It comes up in the in the list three months after for pronouncement. Twenty second August. Twenty uh, no, my lords. Eleventh of August. Twenty second August is when it is uploaded, and which is when I gain knowledge of the order, and I, my lords, file immediately. I filed the appeal immediately. Uh, Learned counsel appearing on behalf of the appellant uh, submits that uh, the uh, that though the uh, that in the application which was filed by the appellant, the though the order though the order was of, uh, though the order was passed by the National Company Law uh, Tribunal on um, 11 August 2023. Yes. The order was uploaded only on 22 August 2023. The, hence, it has been urged that the appeal which is filed on uh, the October 2023. Yes. Well, it's 10th October 2023. 10th October 2023 would be within the period of limitation of? Well, it's 61 2. Uh, the, the limitation. Uh, we'll issue notice. Great. Return May I only make one request? The resolution plan basis, which my uh, application was dismissed, even to date has not been approved by the NCLT. Now, my lords, may I only request for an interim stay? Until... We'll make it returnable in two weeks. Wait for me. everything. Yeah. Serve Dusty and come. So, great. Yeah. See, in this case, the NABAT. Though initially it said that you know there may be certain irregularities in the functioning of the bank, Marot. subsequently it filed an affidavit before the High Court stating that the resolution of the board was proper and that there were no irregularities. Ultimately, this was a public interest litigation. You no, brought no. some grievance to the attention of the court. No, the court has felt that it is not necessary no, to interfere. This 368 may be seen not for a moment. What is that? No. Ordered by High Court, not Honorable High Court. The earlier High Court, the earlier order. Yes, not. It says not. Pursuant to previous order, action taken report on behalf of the award has been placed on record. Prima facie, certain allegations were stated to be true. But that is prima facie. Subsequently, Nabad files an affidavit and says that we have now looked at it and there's nothing. Later, Murad. Anyway, as a PIL Murad. petitioner, your duty was to point it out to the High Please, Court. Murad. High Court went into it. Nabad was is a national bank for rural development. They file an affidavit. Now, why should we? Not the, not the error is. is 389 may be seen, Murad. Uttar Bihar Gramin Bank, as well as Murad, the sponsor bank, Central Bank of India, was directed to take decision on this erroneous Murad, uh, activity. Murad, that is my but opinion. Ultimately, as a bank, it is regulated by the uh, by the state authorities, since it's a state bank, as well as to a certain extent by the Reserve Bank of India. Why should we presume that they will not look into the uh, any regulatory failures in the bank? Not may ask, not any fraud above three crores not, is directed to be investigated by CBI. But here the quantum is not above.
has more than not 500 crores. No, that is. Sir, Council, we are referring to the affidavit filed by Nabad dated 21st February 2024, where the government is that it is humbly submitted that as per the specific directions dated 18 January 2024 of this court, the instances pointed out in the special audit report were scrutinized. On scrutiny, respondent number four is satisfied with the resolution of the board of UBGB that the guidelines of fraud are not applicable to the present matter, audit report, and therefore the matter is not required to be referred to local police slash CBI as per clause 9.1 and 9.2 of respondent number four. So not mm -hmm. Initially, not 13. I think you've made our point clear. I think we'll not entertain it further. It is a PIL after all. Yes, dismissed. Item 6. Okay. Item 6. Yes, Mr. Raghunath, you are on the screen. Uh, Advocate Raghunath on the part of, uh, on behalf of India. Filed a writ petition before the High Court for early hearing of your appeal before the DRAT. And now you are in the Supreme Court under 136. You're not going to entertain these kind of. Uh, uh, Your Honor, uh, uh, my Lord, the uh, this special fee is against the order of the Honorable High Court, and there is no surmise. There is no uh, about 24 hearings have happened. What do we do? But the tribunals are. It's not that the tribunals don't have work. They they have their own priority. But, but, but my Lord. It's a question of recovery of 208 crore to be. No, but you are postulating that your case is the most important to be breaching the line or the queue. Other cases may be as important before the tribunal. Why should we expedite your case? We'll not do anything like that. Thank you, dismissed. Sir, so this is a petition seeking appointment of an arbitrator. The clause of arbitration which finds place in the SPA was SHA, which was initially disputed by the other side gradually accepted on an affidavit and recorded by the High Court in its order saying that they were trying to mislead the court, but they then accepted the uh, existence of the SHA and the arbitration clause. We had, we are only seeking appointment of an arbitrator because one of the respondents is a Sri Lankan uh, citizen and the other is an uh, Indian citizen, both of them being shareholders in the company, which was created pursuant to uh, the SHA. Hello, I'm appearing for the respondents here. Eh? Let them supply me a copy. I'll come back in two weeks and get give my no objection for the appointment. For the appointment of the arbitrator? Yes. My Lord, after perusing the agreement, I, uh, I, I, because there was a confusion about the agreement per se, right. their notice of invocation says you're, the arbitrator. Fair enough. You're appearing for both the respondents, right? Yes. You're appearing for yes. both yes. the respondents. Yes, yes. Fair enough. No, uh, uh, they have admitted the existence I know. of the... He doesn't that, have a copy of the paper. He's, see, just, that's he's on caviar. So we I'm not in yeah. KVR also. I'm just appearing. Uh, issue notice, Mr. Uh, Mr. Uh, can I have your name? Karthik Malhotra. Mr. Karthik Malhotra, when counsel appearing on behalf of the uh, states that he has instructions to appear on behalf of the respondent, respondents, and seeks a short adjournment to take instructions. A copy of the paper book be supplied in the electronic form to the then counsel for the respondents. Uh, list on. We should we keep it on Monday and finish it on Monday? Please, my lords. My lords. Uh, uh, Friday is uh, all right. Next Friday. Next Friday. Is Friday. Very good. Next. Yeah, ma'am. Item number eight. eight my lords. The candidate who was selected as the president of the Consumer Disputes Redressal Commission for Malar Kotlana. Sangru. As for Sangru. Sangru. The person, the candidate who was selected resigned. Within six months. Within six months. In which case, you are the second candidate. You have no vested right for appointment. No, if the candidate does not accept the appointment, then the second candidate can say that, well, appoint me to the uh, to the post. There's only one. Once a candidate is appointed, then the select list comes to an end no, because the process is complete. Our submission was only this, Lord, that the OM says that if a person joins and resigns or vacates within six within one year, then, my Lord, the merit list has to follow. In this case, my lord, the OM is there, and the judgment of my lordship, three judges of this court have said, and and my lords, this is since a no, that's right, my lord. But my contention is that since this is a judicial selection, instead of going through a fresh selection process, my lord, people can, be, and I'm there in the merit, my lord. The 
government picked out all candidates who are lower in the list that whole selection process in punjab was replete with and all kinds of difficulties what i have done is in my in my district sangrur after milord because the punjab government thought that they can just pick up candidates who you know are uh, you know suitable to them overlooking the select list so so that's my case when one resigned they appointed someone who was not even in the list who didn't even apply i was there at number 2 They didn't call me. His appointment may be invalid, but so he R5, has no vested right. So right? he has, he's R five, Malaj. He's R five here. I said so in my LPA. When when the when the writ was pending before the honourable single judge, they whom did they appoint? They appointed one Jyot Jyot Karan, who was not even in the select list. No, Page seventy is the select list. Look at it this way. Yes, Malaj. Your plea was appoint you. You are not really concerned about his appointment. In the writ petition, it was appoint me. When the judgment is reserved in the writ petition, on that day <laughs> they appoint this person. I filed an LPA. I said, how can you appoint him? You have to appoint me. The OM is there in my favor. The three judges is in my favor. Did you ever challenge his appointment in the LPA? Uh, the LPA. Because in the writ petition he was not appointed. He was appointed on the day when the judgment in the writ petition was reserved. So he, I could not have made him a party in the writ petition. I made him immediately in the LPA. I made him immediately in the LPA. I I made an application. I and he is R five here before your lordships. A person who is not selected is working well as a presiding officer of the consumer forum, and I was there in the merit list. I don't know wait panel. OM says my lord, the panel. petitioner, the, the 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 grievance of the petitioner is that the candidate who was first in the select list, right? Very well. Uh, the the candidate who was first in the select list for appointment to the post of president of the consumer disputes redress commission, Sangru, Sangru, uh, resigned. Full stop. Thereafter. Uh, full stop. The petitioner was the was second yes. in the select list. Full stop. According to the learned counsel, after the judgment is reserved by the single yes. judge, yes, comma, and before it was delivered, yes, the fifth respondent yes. was appointed yes. as the president yes. of the this of the district consumer disputes addressal forum, though he did not, though he was lower. He was not in. Oh, though he was not in the. Though he was not in the merit list yes. at all. Full stop. The petition has been non-suited on the ground that once the first fresh candidate appointment. was it a fresh appointment then? They just picked him up without though. Picked him up without him. All right. We have recorded your submission. Uh, the grievance of the petitioner, therefore, is that uh, even if uh, he was not eligible to be appointed as uh, district, uh, the grievance of the petitioner. Is that the uh, selection of the fifth respondent is completely contrary to law since he was no, since his name did not figure in the merit list at all. Full stop. Uh, issue notice returnable on February after two weeks. Uh, does does the permitted in addition liberty to serve the standing council for the state of Punjab in addition. You have. Come here after 280 days delay. Father, father, this way to father answer. passed away during this period. Father was very serious. Wait a day, this too. Wait a day. And on interest, claim is on interest in addition to the return uh, of funds. I, I, I invite your not such kind attention, but page 19 only. Page 19 just passed. It has been like. The what's been, the uh, point? Approved. Yes. What's the point that you want to make? Well, yes, that uh, they, it, it has been approved. It has been. Uh, said that yes, this due is there. You have due. to open that. To open the door, you have to first get the delay condoned. Uh, my father passed away. I have said so. My uh, and uh, he was bedridden. And there's a delay of 280 days in filing the specialty petition, which is for which there's no satisfactory explanation. So stop. The petition is dismissed on the ground of limitation. Hey, please, please. Well, I circulated a note yesterday evening. Yes. Uh, my point is that it's a statutory violation that will be under remedy. Tell us one thing. Man. After the conciliation proceedings failed yeah. before the facilitation council, you have said that they never called upon you to file a statement of claim. Is no statement. Of, I, I was a defendant, so no statement of claim is filed. No evidence. Nothing. Just that the initial claim form, which is filed before the MSME, which is a unreasoned just one page of form. 
on that basis only the ultimate order is passed you get to file your uh, statement of defense we, we did get to file those we get to file we got to file those. Yes. but the cancellation how it failed was that the first day i show up without the bakalat yes. nama yeah. that day itself the other side prefers an application already pre-drafted application okay. and on that base of the application same day immediately the order is passed there's no cancellation possible let's move but section 65 of the abolition conciliation act says mandatorily both sides have to be called upon to file the written responses and that concession has to happen in good faith even uk law and all they have gone into that level where they say that, right. good faith has... that conciliation failed thereafter what happened before the no process? conciliation happened then i was called upon to file my defense i filed then uh, arguments reserved some fellow one mr rk heard the arguments the ultimate award is passed by some other three people who have not even heard the matters so rk is the signatures on the on Come here, you have come here against which order? Well, so I've come again the order passed by the division bench of the High Court saying my 34 is not maintainable. Uh, 34 should I should have gone in 34, writ petition is not maintainable. But you have a remedy under 34, right? Well, so I, I won't have a remedy under 34 because section 65 violations of the Abolition Conciliation Act are not palatable under 34 grounds. No, but there's a so what you are aggrieved by finally is the award. Well, so I've tried to draw a distinction from that India Black Cause judgment, which which is falling from my lord. I'm conscious of that. There's a Gujarat, uh, there's a Jharkhand Uja judgment in my favor. Which says if the mandatory statutory violations have taken place, then writ petition is maintainable vis a vis the MSME Act. Squarely covers my case. Number two, my lords, the uh, India Glycos judgment and other judgments which my lords have held, those are cases where people were trying to make their cases on merits of the case. I am not on merits at all. I am on the violations of the MSME Act. And I am trying to portray my case there, my lords. So my humble submission is basic structure 226, etc., will be attracted when statutory violations have taken place. If it was a case on in fact, it's Problem is that you are yourself saying that you're not challenging it on merits, but only on statutory violations. Well, the merits grounds are also there. I'm saying the for the statutory on merits, which you raised was that on uh, that they were not registered as uh, micro as a micro MSME on the date of the agreement. No, no. So which there's a finding of fact concurrently that they were registered. No, Malas, what has happened is I'm Malas, those merits arguments are also there, but to distinguish my case from the, the previous judgments. That's why I'm trying to portray my cases there. I've sold, supplied, and delivered. You have not paid them. No, no, Melos. No, no, Melos. That's, that's not a case at all. Melos. Yeah, the case, my statement of defense is not on record. My apologies on that. But what if the transaction is slightly different? The balance of the principal amount of 24.82 lakhs is not paid. Melos, I'm ready to deposit the principal amount. That's no difficulty at all. But the point is, Melos, my defense could not be brought on record because there's no procedure that has happened. There's no ab basic arbitration and conciliation norms that have been followed. In fact, Melos, there's one Delhi High Court judgment which says if it shocks the conscience of the judge, then the writ petition is maintainable, even against MSME matters. In a petition under Section 34, all these grounds are suppose in an arbitration, forget the MSME Act, arbitrator doesn't hear the defendant and passes an award. Is that an is that not amenable to a 34 application? Uh, I'm, I bought on my laws, the mandatory provisions of Abolition Act not followed ground under 34, absolutely correct. Mm -hmm. But my laws, under the, this is under the conciliation process of Section 65 violations. So they may not be followed under the 34 minutes. And besides, you know, one person hearing the matter, other person passing the award, Therefore, who I don't even know. But why, why did you not choose to challenge the award under Section 34? Uh, my Lord, all these grounds, all these grounds are available. That's your ground is a violation of public policy. My Lord, I, yeah. I'm only saying Milos, that under the Jakhan Urja matter, I'm because squarely covered with those. Thereafter, it becomes an executable decree, right? Milos, may I say this, Milos? For the rate is that you don't have to deposit. Milos, may I say this, Milos? The Jakhan Urja judgment which covers me is of 2021. Milos judgment is of 2023. Leave it open, leave it open to you pursue your remedies under section 34. I'm so grateful, Milos. Uh, the, 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 the petitioner uh, has an efficacious remedy of challenging the award of the Facilitation Council under the MSME Act by uh, taking recourse to the provisions of Section 34, bracket 2 of the Arbitration and Conciliation Act 1996. This is the matter, comma. 
the high court was justified in declining to entertain the writ petition under Article 226 of the Constitution. Hence, we are of the considered view that the grievances which are sought to be raised in these proceedings can be addressed in a petition under Section 34. Uh, full stop. Uh, any observations by the High Court on the merits in the impugned order shall not stand in the way of the petitioner taking recourse to the remedies uh, to challenge the arbitral award. I'll be hit by delay, Milos, because now you can see you are bona fide pursuing your remedies before the High Court. What else can we say? Milos, I can't condone the delay, which is beyond now the 90 days. Milos, that's the Milos, but, but that will be rendered me, Milos. Um, it's a good case on merits, Milos. Milos, Milos have seen what has happened in this case, Milos. In fact, Milos, we have vested right in yours to their benefit. How can we obviate a, 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 a limit set by Parliament? Milos, I, I understand that. Milos. Really speaking, if it's barred by limitation, you should just dismiss it. Otherwise, your client will spend another round of. Uh, no, no, Milos, but Milos, give me liberty, Milos, but may not rectify to my interest if the dead delay aspect is not covered. All right. Uh, but we will not condone the delay here. You no, have to move. Milos, may only observe that I may be permitted to raise this point. That will be Milos. I yes, you can always say that condone Milos, the case. But we can't because there is a maximum period which can be, uh, which is condoned. No, we can't go beyond that. Like the IBC, the Arbitration Act, etc. Condone the delay of 36 days in filing the SLP. There's no difficulty. No, that's, that's, uh, then you can say I was pursuing my remedies bona fide before the Supreme Court. I'm in my Los Angeles. <laughs> Item 11. Questions, exercise, my lord, the well reasoned decree and the judgment of the trial court. Para 15, my lord, it proceeds to record a wrong date. Contrary to what has been pleaded by the plaintiff himself. And then Milord says that we were at fault in not pinpointing it promptly. Milord, three things were missing from the uh, impugned judgment. If your Lordship may please see Milord, see, page you one. Paid them, you paid them 90% of the payment. That's right. Right? Right. So the dispute was only in regard to the balance 10%. Lordship, please. So the High Court says first, the very fact that you paid 90% shows that the work was being executed. Now, question is still, I mean, you may still have a point that, you know, there were delays or deficiencies on the part of the respondent. Where did you raise the issue of delays or deficiencies? No, Lord. We have said so in the uh, written statement, coupled with the fact, Lord, there is a finding of fact that the work completed was only to the extent of 90%. And therefore, Lord, the learned trial court held this, Lord, please have a look at page 175. But what did you, what evidence did you produce to establish that there were delays later? Yes, yes. 30th, 30th of uh, uh, next year, P. 11, your lordships may see. Or, your Lord, lordships may please have an extra P12. Now, this letter which we have pointed out, my lord, on 30th November 2012, the, the judgment in question says that you. But tell us what the evidence which you laid. My lord, this was one of the letters, my lord, 30th November, and the rejection letters at uh, document P11. Kindly just see, my lord, an extra P11 you from pages 102. You had to, you had to prove your defense. That there were delays and uh, that there were delays or deficiencies by adducing the evidence of a person cognizant cognizant of the contract which was being performed, and then establish you know by producing documentary material that you know well there was uh, there was a shortage of work or there was measurement carried out which resulted in you know Lord, a if I may say so with respect, Milord, the next year P11 pages 102 to 115 were the rejection notes. Then Milord, the chairman of the company appeared as DW1. And then, my lord, 30th November 2012 letter, which was within the warranty period, but not considered by the uh, judgment in question, that has been set aside, my lord, on the premise that the work was completed in July 2011. But the plaintiff himself says that it was in 2012. Para 19, if I may just draw your lordship's kind attention, please have a look, my lord, at para 19, page 187. That And that is, my lord, the fundamental error, my lord, in the judgment. Besides the point, my lord, that Para 19. Ultimately, you know, you are here under 136. I know, my Lord. That's but a problem. My Lord, only two, two respectful submissions. First and the foremost, my Lord, the evidence, etc., my Lord, even the bills which were presented. The learned trial court has held that these were not actually the bills which were submitted or ought to have been submitted. They have not been proved. Then, my lord, there is a heavy discrepancy on my pointing out the deficiencies because the high court says, my lord, it's purely a matter of appreciation of evidence and not a case for thank you. Yes, right. This has to be uh, tagged. 
this has to be tagged ganpati deal this has to be tagged benami deal commerce but the kindly see the tribunal's order for a minute which uh, pdf you are appearing for well as i am on kv and don't know the pair we've got other matters which are pending so we'll well the kindly see because ultimately the tribunal i, I had gone in appeal the tribunal has decided this issue uh, only on ganpati deal com not on merits and with the liberty given that the if review is allowed by the supreme court please come back therefore we'll tag it you know so the, we'll tag the request it. is because ultimately even my lords tag it got other other matters pending no, no, i'm not saying no it's not that they are they are remedy less tribunal says if the review is allowed please come back to us that's liberty we'll keep it here on on merits well as the ultimately my lords not to call a for, you know follow a different course of action because this will affect other matters which are pending mm -hmm. so we should notice so, and chat let's have dismissed the numerous matters on the we'll, we'll keep before, it here. Uh, we'll, we'll keep it here yes Well, ultimately, because my lord will be sending back me to the tribunal. All right. Okay. Wait. My lord, I'm only praying for a pass over, my lord. Tell us what the matter is about. You argue. Uh, my lord, the lawyer solicitor general is leading us, my lord. So for us, you are the solicitor general at this moment. Tell us what the matter is about. My 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 lord. the matters about argue for 5 minutes then we will appeal to mr solicitor just one thing little junior argue the matter yes. please sit by his side yes tell us what the matter is about my lord the matter is about non filing of affidavit of admission denial along with the written statement my lord the impugn so the high court has relied on the delhi high court rules my my lord according to which the list of documents has to be filed uh at a much anterior stage uh it says with uh, affidavit of uh, with the uh, with the without an affidavit of admission and denial right so the written statement it says will not be taken on the record without an affidavit of admission and denial my lord that's the delhi high court rule that that's the delhi high that's why you have been uh, non suited now what is your answer to that my lord cpc order 11 rule 4 my lord yes it is very clear my lord the affidavit of admission denial have to be filed after interrogation and investigation of the documents have been done my lord and what does the commercial court act say commercial court acts my lord so this is the order 11 rule 4 as amended by the commercial court act my lord right but which is the provision of the commercial court act my lord the commercial court act amends cpc what is the which is the provision of the commercial court act which you are relying upon page 15 my lord of the impugn order solicitor said 15 so you said 15 hello we issue note over right issue note you have heard you have heard mr what is your what's your name avinash agarwal we have heard mr tushar mehta learned uh, solicitor general with mr avinash agarwal issue notice tenable on uh, till so and so for the proceeding should we stay the proceedings or for the proceedings in the so the question would be the high court says the, the rules will prevail over, over, over the act over the cpc para 22 uh, retainable on so and so uh, pending till the next date of listing there shall be a further there shall be a stay of further proceedings in the suit Don't you know? Yeah, what happened was that they didn't fight. One twenty-three days to we'll issue notice on those. The advocate underwent some ice. Item fourteen. Madam, I beg to appear on behalf of the petitioner. My lord, firstly, my lord, the issue is as to whether after the appointment of the arbitrator by the Calcutta High Court, yes, the Tripura Commercial Court could have refused to refer the matter to arbitration. And I think the High Court is. My simple answer to that is, my lord, the High Court had appointed an arbitrator. Now examining and considering the records that were lying before the arbitrator. Which is completely a separate set of pleadings, my lord, before the arbitrator. 
my claim before the commercial court is completely independent of the dealership agreement. All this can be argued before the arbitrator. Why should we entertain it? But the arbitrator, the arbitrator, the section 11 application on the basis of which the arbitrator has been appointed by the Calcutta High Court, my lord, is no, based overall, on arbitration overall, agreement. Long and, overall, and the long and short the of the story is that it can be, it can be sent out. to the arbitral tribunal. Why should we? Well, my, my set of pleadings in the commercial seat is completely independent of the dealership agreement. I am not at all governed by the dealership agreement. There is a mis basic misunderstanding on the part of the court, my lord. Secondly, my lord, the without without considering and examining the records lying before the arbitrator at Calcutta, my lord, the court could not have at paragraph 18, my lord. If your lordship kindly turns to page 15, paragraph 16. Ultimately, the what has the high court done? The high court has said that let the commercial the remand yeah. order and saying yes. that the commercial yes. court should consider yes. this. Yes. But there could be parallel proceedings, but without looking into what was there before the arbitrator. The set of claims that were completely different, and my claim before the uh, is a money suit, my lord. It's a simple money suit. It's a commercial claim. It is not a case of claim and a counter claim. My set of facts are completely independent of the dealership agreement. Paragraph ten of the plate, my lord. That is a different set of facts. But Secondly, my lord, the high court had interfered. You, who with are order. you? Who are you actually? What is, I mean? Who are you in the sense? Who is your client? My, my client is the instant petitioner, my lord, who has filed the commercial court in the Tripura High Court, in, in the commercial division the court in Tripura. You are the dealer. Yes. You are the dealer. No. Yes, I am a, I am a dealer. I am a dealer, but not, uh, not eminent. Maybe, from... maybe you are saying that your claim is independent of the dealership agreement. I'll yes. See, your status arises as a dealer under the dealership agreement. No, that so dealership agreement. says, please consider our order. It directs the commercial I've court to consider the their order yes. appointing an arbitrator. Yes. Well, it, it, the, 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 the arbitration agreement, which is between me and the dealer, maybe, my lord, it's an alleged, alleged document, is not at all a document which is with my custody. I have specifically stated in my plaint that I have never seen, this document has never seen the light of the day. In that event of the matter, my set of pleadings in the commercial court could have been in the light of the dealership agreement. All this, but my all this the, has to the, be looked at by the arbitrator. All this well, has to be arbitrator is deciding on the dealership agreement. That is for the respondent. That is before the, that is the claim of the respondent against me. My claim against the respondent is completely well, different and my suit is a prior suit. You your point. No, the, it has to be before the arbitral tribunal, but anyway, we are not directing it has to be sent to the arbitral tribunal. The High Court has merely remanded the matter, directing the Tripura Commercial Court to consider its order, Calcutta High Court order appointing an arbitrator. That's all. But right? my, this is this is where I join my issue, my lord. Just you, one minute. You heard you now. I think we've made access clear. To say, my lord, the Tribunal item 15, it is in my humble submission that the Honorable High Court has committed grave error in uh, saying that the mine, the mine in dispute was transferred to respondent number one because it was transferred without following the provisions of law. And it, according to me, but it is void. But that, you have to answer why we should condone the delay of 170 days in filing the SLP. My Lord Chair, because the petitioner was not knowing that there are that there is a limitation in filing the SLP in the know. Supreme Court and the, the the advocate who was dealing with the, the matter in High Court was on the ground of delay, yes. Thank you. Item 16. My Lord Chair, may kindly consider as soon as we got the matter, we have we got it filed, my Lord Chair, may kindly consider because the petitioners are also very uh, not very poor, my Lord Chair. They have been in possession of the mine for the last 50 Seven years. years. But my lordship, it's that transfer was illegal, my lordship. That was not not a case for injunction. The High Court says that somebody who is in possession of a mine for fifty years, they can't be now injuncted like this. So, if, though we are dismissing, we can say this. Should, we can even say this. Though there's a delay of uh, uh, one seventy days in filing the special petition, we have also examined the uh, the correctness of the impugned order on merits, and find no reason to interfere with the order. Respectively, petitioners accordingly dismissed both on the ground of delay and on merits. That's better. So that uh, item 16. Lordship. Backlisted. Issuing any show cause notice and contrary to the terms of the tender itself. If my uh, Lord, uh, draw your Lordship's attention to page 98. The cancellation may be. Uh, Uh, the senior counsel appearing on behalf of the petitioner uh, submits that the petitioner was blacklisted for a period of three years mm -hmm. from participating in the works of the in the work of the in the contracts of the municipal corporation 
without a notice to show cause being issued. Not uh, issue notice confined to the above aspect. Not sure. returnable on cargo. Lord, we are only requesting for a stay, Lord, because no, I won't be in a position no, to participate in any of the options, Lord. We'll yes. make a short note. Lord, should be there. Oh, I see. Lord, should be there. Said due process. Obliged. Seventeen, madam. Number of petitions have been disposed of by the High Court. All the matters are not listed today. May I pray for a one one time? But there's a one seventy four delay. One seventy four day delay here. No, no. As far as the first matter is concerned, there is uh, seventy four. One seventy four. One seventy four. One seventy four day delay. But in other matters, it is not there, madam. In other one seventy four. Yes, but in other matters, the delay is not too much, madam. Can you see, madam? In some matters, it's seventeen. Not... Seventeen. How many matters are there on seventeen? In in total, there are eight matters, seven matters, madam. All the matters are not listed today, madam. It will be taken up in the madam. You can get your other matters. We'll we'll dismiss this on the ground of delay. No, madam. Can you see, madam? At the... How can the state keep on saying that? Look. There are other matters where there is no delay, therefore, condone. No, I am not saying, I am not saying, can you take up all the matters together because there is a delay, what is concerned? We will keep those other matters, we will dismiss this on limitation. Well, can you take up this? Limitation this? applies equally to everybody and I think state governments in India now must be absolutely alert and merely because it is a state, you know, the government officers cannot just sit my Lord, as for my and uh, allow. 74, my Lord. And it's I, serial number 37, there is 74 days delay. We look at that matter independently. When it reaches, we'll take it up. This one we will dismiss on the ground of limitation. No, my Lord, I'm just saying that we'll take because on the technical ground, can you see, my Lord? Technical ground, my Lord, they have to more than more than three or four crore rupees, my Lord, can you see? They have to pay more than three or four crore rupees, my Lord, can you see? Seven reaches. We'll but, see what the merits are. All the matters are not listed today, my Lord. Therefore, I'm saying it will be taken after a week, my Lord, all the matters, my Lord. How many are there? The, in total, there are eight matters, my Lord. Three or I'll give the number to the numbers. Yes, to I, the I will put the numbers. Sir. List together with so and so on, on Friday, Mano, next Friday. Friday. In the meantime, if there is defect, I will put the defect all day. Item 18. But it's on Friday, Mano? Next Friday. Well, yes. This is a really piquant and unjust situation where I can't appoint an arbitrator. The matter is under litigation. Their appeal has been remanded by this honorable court. To the high court because it was earlier dismissed as non-maintainable so the arbitration award has been set aside as being perverse at my instance and the arbitration award was set aside by the uh, by the single judge section 34 judge this is i think this is danuka's judgment that's right but we had dealt with this uh, that's a Dota's judgment that's that's Dota. Dota's judgment uh there was a similar case which just came a few days back where there was a the division bench set aside justice baldota's uh, award on, the, on ground. the ground of perversity. On the on the ground. Of, uh, what about what happened in the single judge? No, thereafter, after the award was set aside on the ground of perversity, they filed a section 37 application, which was dismissed as non-maintainable. Then they came to this honorable court. This honorable court found the appeal was maintainable and therefore remanded it to, back the, to the division bench. To the division bench, and that matter is still pending, though we have made uh, requests and this honorable court had also directed expedition that matter is still pending when therefore this matter is still pending litigation and the situation is that a perverse award against me has been set aside behind my back 2018 they enter into a development agreement with respondent number three this is not disclosed it is disclosed for the first time in 2023, where when I discover by chance that a huge construction is being put up, I move an application. Mr. Ramchandran, what is the investment by your client? My, the investment by my clients is 22 lakhs in a matter of one 1.5 crore at that time. The amount should not matter at all. Of course, that was the initial payment. You and, know, if a construction has taken place, with this and now you have invested about 22 lakhs. The he has paid 8 lakhs, be... the respondent number 3 has paid 8 lakhs. It can't go by the figures. The seems to have also been impressed by the fact that now impeding the development, the tenants on the property who are waiting for being rehabilitated. With respect, Bullets, with respect, those tenants who are part of the original bungalow, it's not some resettlement scheme. It is a bungalow which is being demolished and a 15-story structure is being put up. The award against you in the arbitration 
right? The award in the arbitration. What is the actual award in the arbitration which was set aside? The award was that I am not entitled to specific performance and I am not entitled to damages. Both of which have been set aside because the award has been held to be perverse. So, the matter is at large and I file a fresh section 11 application for the reason now that this third party has come. This third party seeks to get implemented in that appeal. And I can't appoint a section 11. Award was that my claim was dismissed. My claim was against his reneging on the 2005. So your claim MOU. for essentially for specific performance Lordship. or implementation of the MOU that was rejected by the arbitrator. The single judge set aside the uh, uh, set aside the award and just set aside it uh, set aside the award simpliciter. Simpliciter on the ground of perversity, but set it aside. Right. Therefore, fresh arbitration has to start. In any case, a fresh arbitration has to start. Immediately after the appeal was dismissed by the Bombay High Court, I filed a section 11 application for fresh appointment of an arbitrator. The appeal is by the other side, of course. The appeal I... by the other side. When that appeal was dismissed, I filed a section 11 application. But then this honorable court remanded the matter back to the High Court. So, so logically, assuming, even assuming that ultimately in the appeal, the award is affirmed. You still have recourse to a fresh section 11. And that is not being allowed by the high, by the impugned judgment. That is what is not being they allowed. They have created third party rights in the meantime. Lordships, and they have created third party rights. And well, it's a fault is being found with me. We'll have to consider this because you have been non suited even on your Lordship, section Lordship, please. Uh, section 9 or something, we may or may not be with you. Section but... 9, minutes, my request is this. If behind my back, this agreement is entered into, so and Chandra, not disclosed to the court. Not disclosed to the court. You are also a very big builder in Mumbai. Raj, please. There's nothing behind your back. You see the whole construction coming up, and you used to say the big building is. I happen to. I have to see it because I was passing that way. I was passing oh. that way. I'm not <laughs> traveling on all the roads of Bombay every this, day, Milut. I'm not traveling on all the roads of Bombay. This is not by this. this on section nine, nine words, if your lordships are in, if you notice, eleven, perhaps you know you have a point that at least your remedy under eleven can be kept open uh, depending upon the outcome of that appeal perhaps we'll see we'll on see section nine my only limited prayer, prayer is this we'll Lord, as your lordship's issue notice let them not create third party rights in favor of buyers let them not uh, all take... we are issuing uh, notice we'll make a short notice Lord, we don't want to issue an interim order without hearing them serve dusty and come we'll just rise uh, members of the bar we'll rise because our distinguished colleagues from brazil has to uh, go around the court in the next I look at the facility. We just rise for uh, two minutes and before the learned visitor Millards rises with your lordships, I thought an anecdote seeing your lordships encouraging a junior a few matters back 48 years ago, Millards in court number two, senior Justice Chandra Chud was the presiding judge, and a two month old lawyer, namely yours truly, was appearing before him, shaking with nervousness. And senior Chandra, Justice Chandrachur looked at the appearance slip and said, yes, Mr. Ramachandran, which gave me such confidence 
that I, I was able to argue a useless matter for five or ten minutes. So I was reminded of that day, Milad. Sorry, Milad. <laughs> Thank you, Milad. But can I request Milad for Dasti in addition, yes, Milad, so that it comes in told, two weeks, Milad? We just told the court master it will be served Dasti and uh, two, after two weeks. And no third party rights, Milad, in the meantime. That's, That's why we are giving you two weeks. <laughs> Thank you. Milad, please. Please. Now, Parmeshwar, which are the states which have not implemented our judgment? I just circulated a note here. Some of the states have. I have a note, Milaj. I have a detailed note, Milaj. You have the note here? Yes. Yes. So what is this time you take to that? Mr. Solicitor, that is the updated position you have now of who has... Uh... Yes, I have the updated position till yesterday night. Then it's the update. Till yesterday night, we were served affidavits and compliance. By the way, Coffee is not happening. But I just wanted to print your lordship's notice. This is the sixth or seventh time the lordships are asking them to pay up uh, allowances and, just and pay balance. If your lordships kindly see the major defaulters, let me just point out from page six onwards. But that's a number of high courts have deducted TDS on allowances, my lord. So that issue I'll come to. But if your lordships. Right. Yeah. Because allowances, you can't deduct TDS. It is at all. Protected under what, section 192 and section 1014 of the in Income Tax Act completely because it is for money spent that uh, allowances are paid. So there's no question of TDS, but I'll come to that a little later. But if your lordships kindly see from page 6, Ilabad. Six minutes. So, Lordship C, so far as Yalabad is concerned, my lords, uh, there is more or less compliance. I shouldn't take, uh, uh, I think there are minor uh, difficulties which will get ironed out, my lords. So far as Andhra Pradesh is concerned, there is substantial non compliance. I have marked substantial non compliance. So, Lordship C is the last two columns. So far as payment of revised allowances are concerned and payment of various of allowances, my lords, most judicial officers have not received it. Most judicial officers haven't received it. Fixed my lordship just for payment of arrears. Possibly, but I, I, I just wanted to put bring to your lordship's attention the seventh time your lordships are extending time. Repeatedly, your lordships have recounted all those orders in the first three parts of my notice. At best, my lords, August 15. There are states which have moved IAS asking for six months, two years, Orissa on its own. 15th August, 15th August, 15th August. <laughs> all states, my lords, 15th. Uh, the uh, a note has been submitted by Mr. K. Parmeshwar, then the mic is uh, indicating the status of compliance with the orders passed by this court on? Well, that's three orders, well, that's 27 7, 2022, 
27 July 2022 to uh, July 2023. 19 May 23 and 4th 19, January 24. Uh, 19 May 2023 <laughs> and 4th January 24. Then there's 23rd November also, no? That is only for extension, my lords. Your lordships again. Yeah, yeah. For the substantial order, your lordships. And 4th January 2024. 24. Good stuff. Uh, those, seven, uh, those seven opportunities, seven, right, have been granted by this court to the states to comply. It appears that full compliance has not been effected and several states are in default. Good stuff. The note highlights uh, the states in default. And we will deal with them. First stop, they are dealt with C retum, colon, Andhra Pradesh. Uh, uh, the uh, Learned Standing Council. Uh, Learned Standing Council. Where was it? Standing Council. Yeah, Ms. Prerna Singh, appearing for the state of Andhra Pradesh, states that uh, she has instructions to the effect that uh, the payments which were to be made to the judicial officers have been made whatever could be uploaded has been made whatever could be uploaded portal there is a portal for the uploading of bills of arrears which is the main uh, if my lords will see the last column okay. that is the main non-compliance that has been attributed to us i'm Prerna singh learned standing council for the state of andhra pradesh states that learned council for the state of andhra pradesh states that the portal through which uh Bills were to be uploaded. The payments that payments have been made to the extent to which bills were uploaded uh, on the portal, on the web portal, which was open for that purpose. We, we, we'll stop. Uh, should we say, Mr. Parmeshwar, that this may be verified? That's uh, this is clearly non complex because judicial officers spoke to me yesterday night. Number of judges, the All India Judges Association is also here, my lords. There is no doubt, my lords, most states have been lacking. All right, we will say that uh, on the other hand, uh, both the Amicus Curie and uh, All India. Yes, and the All India Judges Association, which is represented in these proceedings, have categorically uh, stated that uh, uh, that that full compliance has not been effected. Full stop. We direct. That if a meeting be held uh, within uh, a meeting be held by Monday between the uh, Registrar General of the High Court of Andhra Pradesh, comma, the, the, the Chief Secretary. Would your lordship then direct that committee to meet your lordships that institutionalized it and that committee, all of them, all the relevant right. people are part the of the committee. Be convened by the committee appointed by this court in its order dated uh, 4th January 24th. January 2020. So, what do we call it? C S C D J. C the C S C D J. Uh, uh, within uh, preferably on uh, uh, preferably on um, on Tuesday we'll say we have a little time. Preferably on Tuesday next, uh, so that uh, in in case uh, compliance is still to be effected, comma it is uh, completed no later than by 15 August 2015. Stop. Uh, a compliance affidavit shall be filed, shall be first shared with the CSCDJ and thereafter filed before this court, uh, indicating compliance, failing which this court will be constrained to uh, adopt uh, contempt proceeding against the officers of the state uh, if there is a uh, full compliance has not been effected. Then, well, then Bombay, Millers, the Lordship sees Bombay at page 8, Millers. Most of it is in substantial compliance, except for the part so far as uh, TDS is concerned. On TDS, your lordships will pass an omnibus oh, order yeah. on all high courts. Would your lordships only see this is unfortunately, my lords, your lordships will see if your lordships, the second last column, what they've been doing is many high uh, state governments have again tinkered with your lordships order on allowances. After your lordships order, there's no question of the state governments now saying that this is not permissible under our rules. We don't, we will not allow it. Mobile handsets can't be on your lordships. Remember, during the hearing also, this is a question on mobile handsets. AC's, that we'll deal with separately. Furniture hand, AC set. So, an omnibus order on the count that there's no question of now deviation from your lordships. That we'll, say, that we'll deal with. Uh, so, so far as Bombay is concerned, only this, because they have now said we'll take a call on mobile handsets and AC and furniture. That we will, uh, Otherwise, there has been substantial compliance so far as uh, Bombay is concerned. They have taken effective steps. Which are the states which are not compliant? Calcutta. 
Calcutta. West Bengal has moved an IF for extension of time with us. Thank you, Mr. Oh, no. We'll give you a time till 15th of August. You comply by 15th of August. I'm only requesting some more time because 15th of August, I don't want to come back, see further time. It has to be because seven opportunities yeah. are being granted to us. All states have paid. I mean, how can West Bengal say we will not? Then not you say that, look, then you can sit at home and not take any work from judicial officers. They are all working there. May I say this? Well, well, this one, 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 one. May I say this? It's only pertaining to arrears. Well, the uh, rest of the things have been implemented pertaining to the arrears. Telangana state is not compliant because in the uh, Amica's report it says how much, how much have you paid? They will not. None of the states are very smart. None of them will say how many judicial officers are there. They will say we have complied. Once we no come details here, of come here on this one, my file state is state of state of state of state 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 everything follows. Because I just for giving specific. May, may, may just state of West Bengal, state of West Bengal. Uh, there has been non-compliance with by the state of West Bengal with the orders of this court. Full stop. Uh, the time time has been uh, one year's time is sought for further for effecting compliance, which is unreasonable. Full stop. We grant time for full compliance till 15 August 2024. Uh, no, till uh, we keep the matter for the reporting compliance on. On 20 August, we'll keep the matter. Uh, we we extend time for compliance until uh, 20 August 2024. We'll stop. The proceeding shall be listed on 23 August 2024. On which date, both the Chief Secretary and the Finance Secretary for the State of West Bengal Great. shall Great. remain present before Great. this court Great. with affidavits Great. indicating compliance. Hello. All Hello. states, Hello. just Hello. just Hello. bring to your lordship's notice. Hello. All state government and union government wanted with the 16. That was the pay commission. We are on the threshold of the next pay commission 2026, and yet our judicial officers after eight years, nine years have been received. It's not as if it's a separate case for judicial officers. Most of these recommendations are at par with state government and union officers. We are constrained to pass the above order. Uh, uh, we are we are usually relax, we are usually uh, circumspect in directing the personal presence of the officers of the state. Uh, full stop. However, this is a situation where uh, the officers, the 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 the, bureauc the, uh, the bureaucracy has received the uh, the revision of their pay scales and other allowances with effect from 1 January 2016. 2016. First stop judicial officers are yet to receive the revision, the, the revised pay scales and uh, allowances. Yeah. So uh, the, the arrears uh, which are due to them uh, in terms of the SNJPC, so eight years have uh, elapsed. Full stop. Uh, despite, as we have already noted, despite sufficient opportunities, there has been non-compliance. Full stop. It is in this backdrop that we have been compelled to pass the above order. So but then, instead of bureaucracy, your lordship may consider administrative officers in the executive. Bureaucracy is administrative officers in the executive. It's a better word. That's better. The, uh, the that's it, Manoj. Yeah. Manoj, just one thing. Manoj, Manoj may not say that uh, state of West Bengal has not complied. Manoj may kindly say partially complied, as the Amicus has stated, because it seems that we have. But you have not complied. told us how much you have paid. You tell us how much you have paid. Then we would have recorded. I'll come back on this and then just. Anyway, you now uh, you pick all right. Which is the next one now? Just only one thing. If just in case we are not complying by twentieth, then we also may require the presence. No, no, of now here they have to remain <laughs> present with an affidavit of compliance. Otherwise, we'll send them marching from here. Yes. Plus, Chhattisgarh also concern is the allowance as well. But if you launch it, one minute. The tax. Mahabat said there will be an order. Tax will pass a separate order. Again, the same thing uh, in Chhattisgarh also. They will say we are considering whether we should grant those elements. I don't understand those GOs. With all due respect, Manas, after there is a Supreme Court judgment, the subject matter of all those GOs 
mentions the Supreme Court judgment of 4th, 1, 4th January 24 and then says we will now consider whether we must grant those allowances. Where is that in your note? If your Lordships kindly see uh, uh, page 10, Chhattisgarh Milaj, your Lordships will see committee is considering upon the mode of payment of concurrent charge elements. State has issued geo dated so and so sanctioning increments on acquiring higher qualification, but no date has been mentioned. All that is clear in your Lordship's judgment. There's no question of now saying that uh, we will deviate from your Lordship's judgment. And your Lordship's uh, state this. of Chhattisgarh, comma, uh, the geo issued by the state indicates that the committee is considering the mode of payment of the concurrent charges allowance correct the right. concurrent charges allowance the state has issued a geo sanctioning the increments on acquiring higher education qualification but no date has been mentioned for effecting compliance and out of 20, only 11 have been sanctioned. And full stop, out of 20, 20 11, allowances, 11. only 11 allowances have been sanctioned. Full stop. The state, uh, the, the conduct of the state of Ch Chhattisgarh is plainly unacceptable. Full stop. Uh, despite seven opportunities, seven is there also, no? Everywhere, no. Uh, despite uh, seven opportunities, uh, the judgments of this court have not been complied with. We direct the personal presence of the chief secretary and the finance secretary of the state of Chhattisgarh before this court on 20 August 2024. 20 August, bola tha na? 23rd minutes. 23 August 2024, uh, together with affidavits of compliance, failing which the court would be constrained to take recourse to the exercise of its contempt jurisdiction. All right, that's Chhattisgarh then. A full compliance, full compliance by the 23rd. Yes, and the chief secretary and finance secretary have to be personally present in this court on that day. Now we are not going to say that if you comply with, then you need not be present because then they'll not comply with. So only if we now direct presence that they will comply with. We now know how to extract compliance with the orders. Yes. We are not going to send them to jail if they comply, but they have to be present here and tell us that they have to that they have complied. Nothing doing now. Yes. Which is the next? Delhi, my lord, page 12. No allowances, no areas of allowances have been paid. Delhi? No allowances, no areas of allowances. Last two corner. Uh, the, uh, the NCTD, the national, the government of NCTD has not complied with the orders passed by this court. Good stop. Uh, no case for extension has been made out. Good stop. We therefore direct. Uh, full compliance with the orders of this court by 14 August, by by uh, by 20 August 2023, the chief uh, the chief secretary and the finance secretary of GNCDD shall remain personally present before this court on 23 August 2023, together with affidavits of compliance for the purpose of report reporting compliance, failing which the court would be constrained to take recourse to the exercise of its contempt jurisdiction. Then. Let's Assam, no compliance. They have moved an IA for extension saying citing floods. Assam, floods in the year of. Filed an affidavit, Lordship. Lordship, we have issued the notification. So far as 14 heads are concerned, Lordship, we have showed the notification, the report, because it came later, Lordship. That was the only thing, Lordship. The time, Lordship, that is uh, being taken, Lordship, is we are really, Lordship, now uh, facing disaster. The Council state appearing, on, disaster. Uh, appearing on behalf of the state of Assam disaster situation states is. that a notification has now been issued for the payment of 14 allowances. 14 allowances in the Full stop. Uh, Not seven, lots of six, lots of seven, seven. Uh, there has to be full compliance with the orders of this court. Full stop. This court is not inclined to grant any further extension of time or exemption to the state. Full stop. The chief secretary and the finance secretary of this uh, of the state of Assam shall remain personally present before this court on 23. Or, or shall they should I saw, 20th August and 23 August. Same. 
same same order lot of our situation is a bit critical lot is because of disaster situation yes, these are people who are working. Also, these are people who are working in service yes, you have to pay them now and just give opportunities no? lot of may i just submit lot of lot of given time to the other state till 15th of august ha 20th august we have given you we have given you time until 20th of august paid by 20th of august and as a chief secretary and finance secretary to be in court on the 23rd of august to report that they have complied so that then we will uh, exempt that we will put an end to the matter that may be exempted lot no, no. we are in a genuine situation then i don't know what will happen then there will be another application for extension once we say this the money will come lot we are in a we are in a peculiar disaster situation lot we are okay. facing it lot in the state lot everyone is how much is the amount that you have to pay Lordship, I suppose it is more than hundred crores. Lordship, more than it will be for a state like Northeast, and we are facing floods. Lordship, it ask is the third the, round of floods. It is the third round of ask floods. Ask the government. Ask the government of India to pay you. They will pay you from some other area. Yes. Lordship, which is other. Lordship, in our case, Lordship, may kindly consider. No, 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 no state. Because the other states will not come out with this situation. Lordship. No, no. Our situation is a bit critical. Lordship, we will not do anything like Lordship, that. Lordship, consider it on the next day. Lordship, on tw on twenty third. Still to remain. We will see if. Uh, Lordship, twenty third. If we don't, uh, if we don't show any progress, Lordship, kindly. Kindly consider on the twenty third. If you are not able to pay, let the chief secretary and finance secretary come here and tell us why you can't pay. We'll consider your request, but they must remain Lordship, we, present. Lordship, no. that's what uh, Lordship. I was only requesting, Lordship. Yes, Kindly pass that order on twenty third, Lordship. If we don't do, no. Lordship, we are in a situation, Lordship. No. We are in a we are in a but critical God. situation, Lordship. Tell us from when did your otherwise of, I would not have pressed it. Tell us when from from what date did you revise the pay scales of your administrative officers? That we have complied, Lordship. From which day? So far as the administrative officers, huh. so far as the SNJPC lordship, we have complied with everything, lordship. No, no. Uh, that I, I can't think... often tell, lordship, uh, from which day. Lordship, we'll instruction... tell you. First of uh, January two thousand and sixteen. Lordship, that lordship, uh, we have complied with every direction of See. the SNJPC lordship. We See. have complied with every. The point. We will pay the. We'll pay the state civil service officers. Judicial officers are not our. Uh, lordship, I am not making a legal argument. Lordship, I am not making a legal. It's on a. No, it's on a different sir. criteria. No. So now only on this. Who else, Mr. Parmeshwar? I mean, so far as Guwahati High Court is concerned, I mean, Arunachal, Nagaland, and Mizoram, I mean, those notifications are there, but uh, release of funds is uh, according to the last affidavits not come. So, your lordship, may direct the same direction so far as Arunachal, Nagaland, and Mizoram. The same direction shall apply to the states of Arunachal, Nagaland, and Mizoram. Yes, then, Mr. Parmeshwar, for the state of Nagaland. All the information has been collated, is scrutinized, is just pending with the finance department, Your Lordship. There has been compliance. We've accepted all the allowances, Your Lordship. They kindly give us time, and Your Lordship yeah, may not. Time till twentieth of August. In so far as the presence of the chief secretary. We have to now. We have to secure presence. presence. Because there has been substantial compliance. Is just yes. a dispersal of funds. The compliant come here. Come visit Delhi once. Yes. Well, that's uh, Gujarat. Well, that's, uh, I am now told there is substantial compliance except TDS. TDS. That will just pass an omnibus order. Himachal Pradesh, Malot, the affidavit doesn't give us any information, fortunately. So far as uh, what is the position in Himachal? Even the state of Himachal Pradesh, may I say, Likhe, the Chief Secretary and Finance Secretary of the state of Himachal Pradesh shall file a joint affidavit indicating compliance. Uh, indicating compliance. Uh, full stop. Uh, since as of date, uh, who's appearing for the state of Himachal Pradesh? Where is he? Who's who's appearing for the state of Himachal Pradesh? Learned counsel for the state of Himachal Pradesh is absent when the uh, case was taken up. Is taken up. Full stop. The chief secretary and finance secretary of the state of Himachal Pradesh shall personally remain present. Will be same order. Huh? Let them come here. Yes. Then. Hello, Jammu Kashmir and Ladakh. Well, uh, no money spared. Man. Jammu and Kashmir and Ladakh same order as. Uh, Complete non-compliance. My lord, the uh, paper UT of Ladakh. May I assist your lord in case of the UT of Ladakh, my lord? Yes. My lord, in case of UT of Ladakh, all the funds are available with the two district judges, my, my lord. And the two district judges are the drawing and dispersing officer. The funds have been provided, my lords. The dispersal is with the uh, learned district judges, my lords. My lord, may I have my compliance of the Because the uh, Union Territory of Ladakh 
Mr. Piyush Beriwal, right? Yes, my lord. Uh, learned, stand, learned Council states that uh, the two district judges are drawing and disbursing officers and the funds have been placed at their disposal. Yes, my lords. My lord, we have also filed this by an affidavit, my lords. All right. Uh, so, Ladakh Kili don't pass any order of uh, presence. Hmm? Much obliged. Jharkhand also same thing. There's no information on uh, areas of relevance. Jharkhand. Have payments been completed? Have you paid all the 20 allowances? Uh, then same order for Jharkhand. Ask the Chief Secretary and Finance Secretary to remain present. Time until 20th. Yes, then? Karnataka is not a concern, my lords. Karnataka is not a concern. Kerala, my lords, not paid. They have moved an application for extension. Not Kerala, paid. Kerala, pay? Kerala, pay? That's all right. You ask the Chief Secretary and Finance Secretary to remain present. Kerala, Kerala the same order. Compliance by 20th, personal presence on the 23rd. Yes, sir. Okay. 20th of August and personal presence on the 23rd. Yes. Well, as Madhya Pradesh also, uh, same thing. Well, uh, SOP has been made by the committee, your lordships constituted, but uh, no disbursement. Madhya Pradesh is the same. Madhya Pradesh, same order. Then? Tamil Nadu, my lord, not a single paisa. The Tamil Nadu? Grave default. Same order. Manipur had a problem, my lord, they moved an IAO. With respect to the pay and pension, everything has been paid. The allowances, they have been approved. The prospective payment of the allowances have started, and I have got a pay slip from the respective BDOs also. Because with respect to the areas of pay, that is the only uh, problem that we have. Unless we were seeking a little bit of more time for extension. How much do you have to pay? This is about 24 crores. And it's pay it. Well, the state is running into some deficit. Yeah, so player, pay it. Tell. Get it from the Union of India. Same order for money. Well, can it be a little... Uh, little 20th August. Now 20th August. Is uniform for everybody. Yes. Meghale also, Meghale. Meghale. Same thing. Same. Same, Same order, Meghale. Yeah. So let's my lords. Is the price? Sir, I have to put it. 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 Orissa and then CPJ. and then and so far as the areas is concerned, they themselves decided that they will pay it over six or same, seven installments. Same same order. Lord, as far as the or six allowances have yet to be paid. Well, Lord, as far as state of Orissa is concerned, the resolution of the finance department has come in on the 16th of March 2024, and the law and the home department have submitted the proposal in the ensuing session for release of the funds in the Orissa legislature. That's the instructions which I have. Learned Council for the State of Orissa states that the? The resolution of the Finance Department has been issued on 16 3, 2024. That the resolution of the Finance Department was issued on 16 March 24. And the Law and Home Department has submitted the proposal for making the budget provision in the ensuing. And the Law and Home Department home have submitted proposal for uh, ensuring. Uh, Payment. The budget provision. For making a budget provision in the ensuing budget session. Ensuing budget session. 20th August, we are making well. compliance and ask the Chief Secretary and Finance Secretary to remain present. Very well. Very great. Yes. And so far as Patna is concerned, with us, I am now told yesterday evening I received a note saying that they have started dispersal of all the allowances. But the last affidavit which was filed, Mirat, said that allowances have not been paid. Then, yes, then. Punjab and Haryana High Court, Malas, again, uh, the committee filed an affidavit. Uh, Bihar, as a Likhija, Learned Council for the State of uh, Bihar states that uh, an amount of rupees 122 crores has been transferred to the Law and Judiciary Department, right? And, uh, and, the, that, and, and the payments are being made in full compliance with the order of this court. Good stuff. Then, 
And then uh, Punjab and Haryana Mailos, allowances areas have not been complied with and allowances, future payments are partial compliance. We'll also see the last two columns. So same order for uh, state of Punjab, as I uh, Same order, we'll say full compliance we should. There is an issue with respect to state of Punjab and Haryana. The matter is pending before the full bench of the High Court. The allowances, is, that's why they were not raised. The state has complied with the deal. Also, you may see the note as well. There's an SLP pending before this court, pursuant to which the High Court has held its hand and not released the, and not granted this approval. Which which elements? Which elements? So except for super Other time, that we have been done in Oscar for the state of Punjab. For the state of Punjab, we have done in Oscar only that matter remains pending before the High Court. Page one one six. All right. Of state of Punjab ke liye aisa likhle. Which is very page uh, Punjab is. Page one one six eight will Oscar. Because you know that's in respect of that's not allowances. That's only selection time and super scale. That's 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 litigated between the judicial officers. Therefore, that full page I've examined. So what about the allowances? Have you paid the allowances? Please, I mean, Oscar. We'll place that on record, Your Oscar. Sorry. We have released the allowances. Eleventh April twenty three, Your Oscar. We we'll pass the same order. If you have. Come back to us, file as an IA before the next date of listing. We will uh, and, and give it to Mr. Parmeshwar. He'll verify it. We'll uh, we'll delete the requirement of the uh, presence of your teeth. But to that effect, you know. So you first ensure that the full payment is made. File an affidavit. Give it to Mr. Parmeshwar. In come here and uh, mention it. We will uh, exempt appearance. You know. Rajasthan same same order as the other. That's no no information has been. Provided to this court in the complex agreement. Rajasthan. All right. Any anybody else? But uh, I'm sorry, my lord. I, I was uh, just trying to uh, uh, say something, uh, but uh, I was not unmuted. Uh, unmuted, my lord. For, uh, for Delhi, my lord. Yes, for Delhi. Problem for Delhi. For Delhi. Yes, my lord. I, uh, we are waiting for the approval of the central government because we have the, we we can make payment only once the I central really government approves. No, we we are not concerned with that. You sort it out with the central government. We want payment to be made. Yes. Let's in that Punjab and Haryana, my lord. We are not the other order continues. Central government has permission. This is this. Ah. Uh, Haryana. I it as high courts, my lord, because the Haryana Haryana the other orders continue because they have not paid up the eleventh. Haryana so, so, the same order will continue. And Punjab this order. Punjab ka hamne order pass kiya tha. Telangana state, my lord. Rajasthan, Sikkim, and Tripura state. Central government Rajasthan has filed state. review petition. A Punjab and Haryana, we have passed the same order. Punjab, Haryana, the same order of personal presence. Right. Provided they, if they come back here and file an IA saying yes. that we have paid, then you yes. can tell us. We will. Uh, you can mention permission that these states have been. Uh, yes, so you can come and mention so that. Yeah. Yeah. So far as Rajasthan, Sikkim, Tripura, and uh, Uttarakhand concern, my lords. Uh, uh, Rajasthan, Sikkim, and Tripura the same order. Allowances have not been paid. Up. Rajasthan, Sikkim, and Tripura same order. And Telangana has complied. Uttarakhand the only issue is tedious. For Sikkim, may I make one submission? Or not? May, I, may I request for a similar indulgence as the previous council? Once I file the updated status of allowances, may I make a request for exemption for appearance as my lords have permitted the previous councils for other states? Because I'll get the updated status and ensure that the allowances are let paid. Them let them appear, yes. Sorry, so far as uh, TDS is concerned, would you also uh, pass an omnibus order saying wherever the exemptions are offered from the meetings are exact? So far as allowances are concerned, no TDS should be cut because there's no point in going uh, allowances say, one by uh, one. We wherever wherever exemptions are wherever wherever exemptions are available under the provisions of the Income Tax Act 1961 uh, from the deduction of TDS on allowances, comma. Uh, the state government shall ensure that no deduction of TDS is made. And wherever deducted, my lord will give them time to September to return that because then this is complete deduction. It will have to go back because this is one minute. Then. The state government is deducted so that wherever the state governments have wrongly deducted the TDS, comma, they shall refund the uh, amount to the judicial officers on or before uh, 15 September 2024, uh, with liberty reserved to them to pursue. Uh, the uh, to pursue their claim, their claim before the uh, before the department. Hello, I have encapsulated with my note which I have circulated. I have put an appendix A where I have encapsulated under the Income Tax Act which all allowances that are part of the SNJP are exempted under the Income Tax Act. So, my lords, if something like that can happen, and I have also annexed 
along with my loan, the uh, payment slips of the judicial. Right, what we'll do is that we'll take up. Uh, we have covered the states, right? On the uh, issue of TDS, TDS ka baad mein dekhte hain. We keep it on Monday. If you just look at what she has said. The allowance the exam. Right. My only fear was that. Can you serve the central government council so that we can then deal with TDS Very on that? Just ask Mr. Venkatraman to remain present here on Monday. You can tell him what the issue is, so that then we can clarify it. Just housekeeping, sorry. Yes. So then all those contents in the IAS can be disposed of unnecessarily. Hello, sir. Bar Telangana State, my lord. No complaint, sir. Bar Telangana State. Where are they? Page twenty-six of my. Yes, there are uh, there are eight eight contempt petitions. Yes, yes, yes. Ah yes, page twenty six ko serial numbers one to six IAS are stand disposed of. Similarly, all of those eight. Why? Orders made the twenty two. Those contempt petitions. Contempt petitions. Forty five. With your lordship's permission, Millers, may I? Well, in the afternoon today, the only oh, night. I'll just log in. <clears throat> the matters on Monday, including NEET, also will take up on Monday. May no. have your lordship's time, such as half a minute. Can I have the attention of the court for just half a minute? So we'll take up need first. tomorrow first on board, and then we'll proceed, Mister. Uh, um, may I have your lordship's attention for I a minute? That's serial number. Serial number. Thirty-eight. Thirty-eight, my lord. Thirty-eight, Kalrakto. Thirty-eight. Very applied. Lordship and lordship. Thirty-eight, my lord. My lord, if 38 can be on Monday, my lord, we need to take instruction and we we'll place something on record also, my lord. Sir, uh, Mr. Anil Kumar, uh, yesterday the solicitor was also saying that he will require a little time on Monday. But the problem is this, not every day one order is being passed. Again, today has been passed. Is that on record, my lord? Nothing worse has been passed, my lord. What is being happening is, my lord, as I mentioned yesterday, it's not about curiosity. How about happened? Nine July, they say no, that order is a big loss. They're not 10th again, yes. Let me take it up on Monday.